I heard about their comments about the women from the, the women's soccer team, uh, that it was about their appearance and also some sexually explicit comments about the women. I, I wasn't pleased. Uh, you know, I've experienced harassment in my life and it's not anything new, but it's also not what I expected at Harvard. These students love their sport and it is a severe punishment for them not to be able to play. But it sends the message that this behavior won't be tolerated, violence against women will not be tolerated, degrading comments will not be tolerated. And it seems like we could take that for granted, but I think, and I'm, I'm going to get political, during this election when a candidate is talking about grabbing women by the genitals, we can't take for granted that this is unacceptable behavior. The message needs to be sent, and Harvard has sent the message. Uh, I think that this was a terrible tradition that the soccer team had, and I think the only way to stop this from happening in the future, both with the soccer team and with other teams, is for the athletic department to take really strong action like this. So I think the, the message that they're trying to send, I think Harvard's really trying to crack down on uh, sexual assault and sexism within the athletic department. They have all these things going on with the final clubs uh, and also with sexual assault within the houses. And I think this is Harvard trying to come out and say that we're not going to stand for this kind of stuff anymore. It's not okay that uh, locker room talk be tolerated.